Hi friends, I hope you and your families are doing well and are safe and are healthy. It's really been a crazy couple of weeks and I wanted to give you an update on what I'm seeing in the San Diego real estate market and then give you some perspective on the economy from some research that I've done and how it may or may not impact the real estate market and home values. My experience in the market these past two weeks has been this. Some of my buyers and sellers are telling me that they want to hold for now and I'm supporting them in their decision while I continue to keep them up to date on what's happening in the market. And one of my sellers actually still needs to sell his property. And we have all the protocols in place for safety, uh, smart marketing, and virtual showings. We are seeing activity, and actually much more than I would have expected. In regards to the economy, I'm hearing often uh, the same question, and that is, how bad is it really gonna get? And there's been a lot of research from companies and experts including Goldman Sachs and what they're saying is very encouraging and I wanted to share it with you to encourage you. Here's a quote from John Burns Consulting. Historical analysis showed us that pandemics are usually V-shaped, sharp recessions that recover quickly enough to provide little damage to home prices. And some very cutting edge search engine analysis by our information management team showed the current slowdown is playing out similarly thus far. So in pandemics, you have a V curve, a sharp recession, and then a quick recovery. And everyone is predicting that this recession is going to be a V curve. We just need to get through it. For home prices, you should know that with the three of the last five recessions, home values actually went up. And this is really a helpful uh, graph right here that shows this. So based on history, a uh, recession does not necessarily mean a housing crash. Now, there should not be a concern that this is going to be a repeat of 2008 when we came out of the, the backs of um, bad policy when it came to housing and loans. Uh, Wells Fargo Investment Institute stated, we do not expect a repeat of the severe recession of 2008-2009 because the virus and oil shocks are not endemic to the financial system but are rather external. Once the virus infection rate peaks, we expect a recovery to gain momentum into the final quarter of the year and especially into 2021. So in fact, this pandemic situation is much more similar to what happened in 2001 with 9-11. This was also an event and home prices actually increased after it. Um, the chief economist at Gluskin Chef and Associates, David Rosenberg, stated, what 9-11 has in common with what is happening today is that this shock has also generated fear, angst, and anxiety among the general public. People avoided crowds then as they believed another terrorist attack was coming and are acting the same way today to avoid getting sick. The same parts of the economy are under pressure. Airlines, leisure, hospitality, restaurants, entertainment, consumer discretionary services in general. So those are a lot of quotes I threw at it too. I just wanted to provide those to you just to give you encouragement and hope for the future. Please let me know if I can answer any questions or I can help you in any way, real estate related or not. I'm here, I care, and I'm committed to helping you and keeping you up to date. Thanks for watching and you stay safe, stay healthy, and stay positive.